So today we're going to talk about a few things that don't necessarily receive a lot of love or attention when it comes to the guitar, but they're important. And you probably will want to add these to your arsenal. And that's guitar picks, guitar capos, and guitar tuners. Now, when it comes to guitar picks, there is no right or wrong answer for these. There's many different shapes, colors, sizes, and thicknesses, and these are going to come down to personal preference. I always suggest that you get a variety of them and try them out when you're playing. You may find that a thinner pick works best with your acoustic guitar and a heavier gauge pick works better when you're playing your electric guitar. But you won't know until you see which one works best for your particular playing style. I personally lean towards a thin pick, but that's probably because when I was learning to play back in the 70s, my mother kept the Wexler Blue Thin Wabash picks in her guitar case, and so those were the ones that I had access to, and so those were the ones that became my particular uh, favorite one. So I use a thin pick. That doesn't mean a thin pick will work for you. You might find that a heavy gauge pick works best for your style and playing. So get a variety of picks, play with them, and then pick the one that works best for you, and then that's the one you want to use. No right or wrong answer. Next up, we have guitar capos. Now, capos are one of those things that there's a lot of different companies making them. There's a lot of different styles and different things like that. There's the Kaiser brand, which is one of the more popular brands that clamps onto your guitar neck. There's also these top here that have a little twist knob on the back that you can attach it to the neck. There's uh, different companies that make these as well and the companies that make the different spring-loaded uh, clip-on types too. But a lot of times people say, what do I need a capo for and what exactly does it do? So without getting too technical of the guitar, using the same chords that you're already familiar with. So if you already know how to play a D chord or a G chord or a C chord, you're basically taking the nut of the guitar and you're moving it along the fretboard using the capo to transpose the pitch of that, maybe because a singer needs a different key, but you can still use your same chords. There's people out there that could probably tell you more of a scientific explanation, but I'm not one of those people. So if I put my capo behind the third fret, right there on the second fret, I can play my same D chord and my same G chord, my same C chord, just raises the pitch and as I move this along the fretboard it's going to raise the pitch even higher but I can still use my same chord voicings so without getting too technical that's how a capo works Okay, and that finally brings us to the most important thing that you can have for your guitar, and that's a good tuner. There are several diff different types of tuners that you can get. Uh, we have these wireless rechargeable type that uh, clip to the headstock of your guitar, and they use the sound vibrations or a built-in microphone to determine uh, the tuning of the guitar. No matter what else you have, if your guitar isn't in tune, it won't matter most important thing you can do is always make sure your guitar is in tune. So you're going to want to get yourself a nice little tuner, keep it in the case, and keep your guitar tuned at all times. It just sounds great. It's the sign of being a professional. It just, it just makes all the difference in the world. So we have this top that has the rechargeable battery. Uh, there's also this top that clips on, and it uses the sound vibrations as well. They're not very expensive. This one runs about $19.95. There's also this Korg top tuner that has a built-in microphone and it also has a clip-on microphone that if you're using a stringed instrument or any other type of instrument, you can tune with these. And that includes band or orchestra instruments as well. This one has little hands that will come up here and show you in little lights that will blink. And when the green light's on, you're in tune. So get yourself a good tuner and make sure that you stay in tune all the time. Get yourself a capo, get yourself some good picks, and just enjoy playing the guitar. Have fun with it. That's what it's all about. It's all about having fun, so enjoy.